Los Angeles last night taken on the Lakers and history was made by LeBron James as he passed Michael Jordan on the all time scoring list with that layup. He only needed 13 points coming into the game and now he moves to fourth all time. So one of the biggest questions in sports is who is the greatest NBA basketball player of all time? Is it Michael Jordan or LeBron James? We might never have a concrete answer, but I think we're getting closer to it. So does what happened last night mean that LeBron is a better player? Well, let's take a deeper look, and we're going to start with Mr. LeBron James. He already thinks he's the greatest player of all time after he beat the 73-9 and Warriors in the 2016 NBA Finals. And he's in the top 10 in scoring and assists all time, and he's the only player to do that. Uh, he came into the league right out of high school and when he was only 19 years old. Since his sophomore year, he's been an all-star every single season, and he's been to the NBA Finals nine times. He's won three, arguably beat the best team in NBA history in one of them, and he's also lost five. Not a great stat, and many people say that that's the reason that MJ is better. But if we're saying that championships equals greatness, then shouldn't Bill Russell, who's won 11 in his 13 year career be the GOAT? Well, that's a pretty interesting question. And if you take this into consideration, the King has already played 118 more games than Michael Jordan. Jordan has every year in his 15 year career been an all-star and he took a break to play baseball for a year, came back, retired for three years, came back again, not to mention he went to college for three years. LeBron didn't. So LeBron's, he, he's had more time to do more. And when Michael played, he made the most of it and went to the final six times and he won all six. He led the league in scoring 10 different times. He was a nine time NBA all defensive team member. And he also led the NBA in steals three different times. So I think it's safe to say that Michael Jordan was a better defensive player and he did more in less time offensively than the Akron Hammer. However, even though the Lakers will probably miss the playoffs this year, LBJ has carried teams to the postseason in the past, and he's still in his prime 16 seasons in. LeBron is going to pass, he already passed MJ on the all-time scoring list, and he might have a longer career, but I'm going to let you decide who you think is the greatest of all time, LeBron or MJ. You guys have to pick. All right, that's all the time we have for sports. We'll be right back after the break.